All right, here we go. Gravy, welcome to Vlad TV. Finally, it's been a while. Yeah, what's up, my guy? What's happening? Oh, man, I've been wanting to do this interview, I think, since maybe like 2009 when <laughs> I had the studio in Chinatown. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like when Vlad TV God. was first starting. And you my know what God. I mean? And You've been my guy for a long time, man. I'm happy for you, man. Congratulations on your success, my brother. Thank you, man. Thank you for all the milestones that you reached as well, man. You've done a lot in the years. Yeah, man, trying to get there. No doubt. Well, this is our first time actually sitting down, so I want to start at the very beginning. So, you grew up in Brooklyn. Yeah, Brooklyn, New York, absolutely. Okay, and what was Brooklyn like in the 80s and 90s? Woo! Brooklyn is the terror zone, man. <laughs> Brooklyn is, you know, you know, we got a, uh, you know, from Best Style, LG Projects, Lafayette Garden, shout out to all my people from there. Um, you know, Brooklyn is hard, you know what I'm saying? You can make it there, you can make it anywhere, you know how it goes in New York. Right, and you're actually from Lafayette Gardens. Yep. I mean, growing up in that type of environment, were you a relatively good kid or were you getting in trouble? I was mixed. I was mixed. I play a lot of basketball. That's where the gravy come from. But uh, I was mixed. I was into a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Just like any other street dude, you know, any street child at that moment. Uh, mom's going through what she went through. Pops went through what they went through. They was never together. Pops was never there for me. So, you know, I'm, I'm real hood with that one. You know? Okay. I mean, dad not being around, was it a struggle? Because how many kids are, are there in the family? Well, my pops, on my pops' side, is two brothers. And on my um, mother's side, is two sisters. Aha. Uh -huh. And I'll be in the middle. Okay. So with your mom, it's you and two and sisters. Two girls. Yeah, my sister, uh, Gigi, and my sister, Zuzu. Yeah, my man, then Virginia. And on my pops' side, is Wesley and Justin. Got it. So... Here's your mom with three kids, you know, growing up, you know, trying to raise the kids in Brooklyn. What do you think was the hardest, you know, thing to go through during that time? Um, well, she had a she had an addiction addiction to some um some 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 troubled times. So, you know, the struggle was real, and we just had to make it out. You know what I'm saying? But she always kept me, you know, always gave me everything I needed. You know what I'm saying? Always was a wonderful mother, the best mother in the world. You know how everybody feels about that. Um, she did a great job with me, you know what I'm saying? So that was, you know, that was that. A uh, couple of things I wish I could go back and do, I just didn't do. I should have, you know what I'm saying? A couple of regrets after I watched the uh, Tupac movie, All Eyes on Me, that that really made me see something different. Even though I was playing it, it still made me something, see something different with Pac when he took his moms to the rehab, you know? So I thought about that, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, I should have did that, you know? I should have did other things, you know? Yeah, no, I have people in my family who who have addictions and have kids, you know, mothers, uh, you know, my extended family. And it's it's always a rough situation on the kids, you know, right. coming home with, you know, all your furniture and clothes outside, you know, because mom didn't take care of the rent or, you know, having to move spot to spot because things go bad. And, you know, I'm not sure what you went through, but I'm sure there's right. some similarities. Yeah, you, you right on the money. All things go bad, you know, but now things go good. So we hit. Yeah. So when did the whole hip hop thing come around in terms of you wanting to rap? Um, me going through trouble too, trouble sometimes, uh, running the street, uh, riding the back of the bus, on the back of the train, on the side of the train, squeezing through the train things, uh, just being a bad kid, uh, doing graffiti. It just, you know, my first rap I heard was uh, Big Daddy Kane. Fell in love with Kane, fell in love with rap music, fell in love with LL Cool J, fell in love with all that shit. So. Rock Kim and just started rapping. Uh, as I got older, teenage years, going to high school, doing stuff like that, uh, the streets caught up to me, made some bad decisions, wound up going to jail, doing other things, blah, 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 blah. Um, I think me moving out on my own, seeing what the streets was like, I was living with this guy named Heavy, one of the OGs in our hood. I was living in his basement, and that's when I realized what the struggle was and what life was about. He introduced me to a, a cat named Fendi. And from right. there. Fendi, uh, Fendi, I know. Yeah. Uh, I've known Fendi for a while. Back yeah. when I was doing, you know, before Vlad TV, I had Hot and Here DVD, and me and him would go to the same distributor and drop off. You know, he'd drop off his come up DVDs, right. I'd drop off my right. DVDs. That's how I met you. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's how yeah, I exactly. Met you. Yeah, exactly. Up in, right. up in the Bronx. I forgot right. the name of the right. distributor. Yep. You know what I'm talking about. Yep. Yeah. And Mike Lighty. Shout out to Mike Lighty, too. Yeah, no, right. exactly, exactly. Back when the DVDs really mattered. Yeah, yeah, that's when everything was popping. Yep. Yeah. And, and Fendi, 
uh, you know, had dirty money. That right, was his, dirty his money, absolutely. And when you came around, was Nicki Minaj already there, or did she? Nah, come that was later. It was just uh, me, Red Cafe, and Q the Kid. Aha. The franchise was signed to Violator Records, ninety nine, with Chris Lighty, R.I.P. Chris Lighty, the greatest. And um, at that time, we was doing our thing. Nikki came later. Okay, right, because you guys had the franchise, yeah. right? You, you, Red Cafe, Q the Kid, mm -hmm. and it was it was signed to Violator. But were you guys also on a major label as well? Yeah, Loud. Loud was the it was it was two deals we did. We did one with Def Jam. We did one with Loud SRC. Aha. Okay, and what happened in those two deals? Um, the Def Jam deal, they switched up. It was new um, people in charge and all that. So they sent us to LA. We went through Tom Wally with Warner and all that. Went to Warner Chapel with Naeem was the A&R at that time. So we got moved around a lot. And then the uh, SRC deal, I don't know what happened to Loud Records. They had fell off. I don't want to say fell off like a bad thing, but they had stopped. There was no more Loud Records. So I don't know what happened with that, but no disrespect to them. Yeah, I mean, Vlad TV was at SRC Records for a while. Loud pretty much, I think, yeah. sold out to Sony. Right, and SRC somewhere. became right. the new, right. the new thing. Yeah, right, exactly. Exactly, exactly. Okay, well, at one point, did you sign to Warner Brothers? Yeah, we went to Warner. Kevin Loud had set us out there. We went to Warner and signed to, uh, signed to Tom Wally at the time. And then they had okay. a whole new uh, regime come in, and then they just swept us under the rug. All right. Were you ever signed as a solo artist, or was, was it always with the franchise? Uh, the Warner deal. I can't remember. I think I did the Warner deal was Dolo. Yeah. I mean, we had so many deals on the table, I can't even remember. But I think the Dolo, I think I did the Warner deal, Dolo. I remember me and Fendi was out there. I think we did that solo. And then um, we had uh, J-Rock, Scrappy, Kendrick Lamar, all of them at the time, Top Dog, Big Up the Top Dog. All of them was at the label at that time. And then they hired Kevin Black and erased all of us. And then, you know, things turned all the way around after, at the end. Well, Fendi's always been a very interesting figure in hip hop. Yeah, yeah. Fendi uh, a good dude. Yeah. And I, I think he's most famous for like an Instagram photo where he showed up at one of his enemies' funerals to make sure they're dead. You know what I'm talking about? Who? Fendi. He you don't know about up. this? Nah. What, what, is, what, do you, what do you got? Hold on, I'm gonna show you a picture of this. I can't believe you don't know about this. Nah, me dead? I was dead? No, not you. He, one of his enemies. Like, one of his he, enemies you know what I'm talking dead? about? One of his ops, yeah, hold on. Oh, well, I don't know, Fendi got a lot of ops. <laughs> <laughs> there goes Fendi, right. right, with his, and then the caption is, I stopped by one of my biggest haters funeral today just to make sure that N-word was dead. R.I.P. Bozo, hashtag. Damn. <laughs> you don't know about this, huh? Okay. No, nah, who who was who was the bozo? He he didn't say. It doesn't matter. Like it just has him, you know, just sitting there at the funeral. And wow, then that's crazy. There's the caption. You can oh, that's crazy. Yourself. I don't know. Yeah, I ain't know nothing about that. That's crazy. Yeah. I don't wish death on nobody, you. man. You know, I, hey, that's a tough situation right there. I feel you. And um, I mean, Fendi actually knew Biggie pretty well. There's the video of them playing dice together and so forth. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was friends with him and all that. Yeah. Okay, so you signed a Fendi and he's got the come up DVD. So he's featuring you on that. And uh, your first mixtape was uh, Hell Up in Harlem, which was hosted by Nah, nah, nah. I can't remember. Uh, we had did a Dirty Money production company. Fendi was the, was the boss hog. And... Um, he did his thing, man. That nigga was, he just grind, man. That nigga knew how to make everything pop off. You know what I'm saying? He had the energy, he had the ambition, he had everything. You know what I'm saying? That, he knew how to make it pop. So he had a lot of relationships and he made it pop. Um, the first mixtape was DJ Woo Kid. That was the first DJ, the, uh, mixtape. I can't name it, remember the name, but the first mixtape ever done was DJ Woo Kid. Uh -huh. right. Okay. Okay, well, there was some other mixtapes during the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell up in Harlem with K Slade. That's all later. But Wu Kid yep. was first. Cut Master C. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Everybody. Cut Master yeah. C. Yeah. 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 I did a mixtape. Big mix Mike, with him all once. that was later. Yeah. Mm hmm. Right. And then you had a bunch of other mixtapes Who Shot Mayor Goonberg. Right. Uh, Who Shot Mayor Goonberg. Right. Goonberg uh, right. Visits Africa. The right. Come Up Mixtape. Jada Kiss. Me uh, and Jada Kiss. That was hard as hell. Um, dope. Yeah, we had yep. a bunch of joints. Yeah. Okay, and you actually showed up on one of Tupac's uh, 
albums after he passed, of course. Uh, Pox Life? Is that Pox Life, I think? Uh, yeah, Untouchable. Right, Untouchable, right. Okay. Sort of interesting. And this was this was way before you ever got cast in the movie. So the guy that Right, was right. The gonna... journey was so real. Right, it's surreal. It's scary. Yeah, it's scary. That <laughs> yeah. Everything the guy that was going to play Biggie showed up on Tupac's album after he passed with like, I think Fatal Hussein was on the song Right, as well. Fatal, and, yeah, uh, Young it, Buck. Mm-hmm. Uh, Yaki yeah. Gaddafi was on there right. too. So now, yeah. how did it feel to be on a song with Tupac at that point? I mean, uh, shit, that's legendary. You know that. But I mean, you know, if the man was alive, it would have been way greater. But it still, it still was, you know, tremendous. You know what I'm saying? I would have loved to meet him, you know? Yeah, I feel you. 